Okay, now I'm trying to figure out if I could work this, how to work this thing. Um, this little guy, this little guy, he, he has a different, he has an interesting looking, uh, mirror system, interesting, uh, setup they got in here. So we're gonna be looking at the moon today, and I can't really, you can't really see me because the, how the tripod's mounted. I could probably set it up a little bit further away, but it's gonna be a little bit difficult because I'm using the tripod for my camera instead of using for this, but I could just, you know, just bend down and go look, or I could just set it further away. But for now, I'm just gonna set this up to see if I can try to find the moon. I didn't put the little the little scope on here to try to find the moon because I was too lazy to put it on, so I'm just gonna check out and see if I can find the moon. The, the moon's out right now. It's pretty, It's it just had its um, new moon, maybe like a couple like days ago, maybe like three days ago or something like that. The moon hasn't been out lately and it hasn't really been, it's been raining most of the time, so it hasn't really been clear. So this is only like clear midday kind of evening time where the moon comes out and then maybe later Jupiter and uh, Saturn will come out. Jupiter and Saturn, I haven't seen them in quite a while, although they have been out for a couple months. They've been out for a couple months and I've been able, been able to see them, as you can see in my Mad Max um, shorts videos. Right now, we're just looking at the at the moon right now, and maybe later we can see Jupiter once they come out, and then I think Mars is gonna be coming out in maybe like a couple months or so. Because I'm in the uh, I'm in North America in the Northern Hemisphere, so it's gonna take a little bit for for Mars to get over here. Mars I think is behind the Sun right now for how its orbit's going. Around. I don't really stand, understand how those work. I go off of an app that shows me that turn on my location, and then it shows me what planets are available. And I have like a camera, it shows me where the planets are, it's pretty cool. Uh, I'll probably put it in the description or something so you can see for yourself, even without a telescope, just saying, oh, that bright light's Jupiter or Saturn or something like that. So right now, I know this probably looks very awkward, which it is. I'm just trying to find the, this is interesting. Um, I probably should've got the scope for it. Is that the moon? That's a cloud, hold on. I'm just laying down right now to see if I can find it. So far, I don't see it. Although this magnification is crazy. I wonder if I could put a different telescope lens on here. Uh, let's see, and it works. It actually works pretty well. So it can fit most telescope lenses, even though it's super small, it could probably fit most uh, telescope lens lenses. And it's interesting because the, the focus knob is on the bottom, so that's gonna be interesting. And it's more sensitive, so I could probably get more clear images out of, the, out of it. Okay, this one works. All right, now let's just try to find the moon. Uh, huh. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult than I thought. Might be finding it a little s sooner or later. Okay, that's a cloud. That's a pure cloud. Okay, I'm way down there. So I gotta go up. This would be so much easier with the scope, but it's too, too lazy to go inside. You know, I'm just gonna get the scope. All right, yeah, got the scope. So now I'm just gonna figure out how to put this on. Perfect, now we just slide it on. That's more loose, so that might work easier. Hold on, it's kinda hard to do this. Never had this telescope before, it's completely new, so I'm gonna have to, oh, oh I got it, I got it. I got it, it's fun, it's completely fine. Okay, that didn't really help because the scope is like all the way down there. Now this didn't really work because <laughs> the scope is down here. And uh, scope didn't really work. That's not helpful. Unless I just slipped. I can almost see. I'm getting there. Hold on, give me a second. I'm locked in. I'm locked in. Okay, now I gotta figure out this focusing knob. Uh, maybe a little bit more. I'm trying to figure out which one zooms out. I was if I try to look at look at it without this thing. I'm just trying my best. All right, I'm working. Oh, I'm working with what I got. And it's a super tiny telescope, so it's going to be twice as hard to maneuver. Uh, oh, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I don't understand. I'm gonna figure this out. Once I find it, then I'll turn the camera back on. I don't wanna waste this battery. I don't wanna waste this battery life. Once I find it, then 
I'll turn it back on. Okay, okay, I think I might have found it. I'm using the original eyepiece that the that the company made. And I think I might have found it. I think I might have found it. Yeah, I found it. There's no way this isn't it. No wonder I couldn't find it. It was so blurry. It was so out of focus. It was like the color of the sky. Okay, I found it. It's, it's, it's definitely the moon. I'll give it that. Oh, never mind. Okay, I focused it even more. Wow, you can see the you can see the craters of this pretty well. I'm not even gonna lie. The craters on this are amazing. Let me try it with this. I would say this is probably about like a maybe about like a 10 millimeter. Don't quote me on that. I don't know what measurement this is. 20. Photo 20. Maybe 20 millimeter. I don't know. Uh, that's probably what it means. Now I'm gonna try the, this telescope eye lens that I have, and now let's see what it looks like. Okay, it looks exactly the same, just uh, out of focus, just a tad. Let me focus it in a little bit. That's out of focus. That's in focus. Whoa, we. Dang. They ain't lying, that's crazy. Huh. That is definitely more crisp than that guy right there. That's. It's more crisp. It's more there. You can see more detail on it, and I can't. I don't even. I can't even imagine what it's gonna be like at nighttime and all the other planets like Jupiter. I don't think this thing can see like the the little lines of Jupiter and, or the rings of Saturn as well as this guy. But I. That's still yet to be. That's still yet to be answered. Only only time will tell. Um, because I don't know when Jupiter or. Any of the planets are coming out. They're probably gonna come out maybe like an hour or two. It's about to be sunset right now. But yeah, this is amazing. I love this thing. I would probably prefer this telescope lens over the, not not over this, but I, I kind of like this one. Uh, it has a big eyepiece, but it zooms in a lot. It's instead of looking like, like a four millimeter, super tiny, but then then you have to like try to look in there. But only thing I would say about this thing, this down the downside of this thing is it needs like a little eye flap like a little flap thing to rest your eyes on instead of looking all the way in there, all you see is your eyelashes. Woo! This thing's crazy for real though. I can't wait to see this at night, to be honest. It's just the views on this thing are insane. It's so crisp and I, no, no. I actually have a Barlow lens, but I don't know if it's gonna work on these small telescopes. I don't know if a Barlow lens would even work on these telescopes, but uh, I like it. You can see how deep the, the craters are on the moon. You can see how, how much it flung all the stuff around. I can't see the, the Tycho crater yet right now. It's not as it's not lit up yet enough to see that. It's only like this part of it is lit up. Uh, I don't know what it's called. I think it's called like a waxing gibbous or something or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, but it's like halfway lit. It's not like the entire moon is lit up. It's only halfway lit. So maybe at night we could see the other you can see the dark side of the moon uh but yeah that's really it for today hope you guys enjoyed if you want to see a comparison between these two that's another video that's gonna be coming out pretty soon i'm hoping i can get it out pretty soon i don't know how my my upload schedule is like it's not that great i would say what happens if i actually wait hold on what happens if i zoom in with this thing and then focus it oh wow <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god. Wait a second. Don't end the video yet. Dang. That's crazy. Okay. I'm gonna have to capture all this on my like phone or something and then put those maybe like right here. Right there. Isn't that cra oh like that. There. That's crazy. Look at that. The moon's crazy, right? Look at that. Whoa, you see that crater right there? That's crazy. You can even see how the atmosphere reacts. Okay, I'm gonna sound like, uh, actually, and then put, put up my glasses, but you can actually see like the little heat waves. You know when you look down a, a long road in the middle, of, in the middle of like some like a hot day or something, you can see how this stuff like emits from the from the road, like it's like kind of hazy, it's like kind of blurryish in a way. You can see that when you look at the moon, and you can see it even moving a little bit. I don't know if that's the moon orbiting or if that's the the Earth tilting, or the Earth rotating, or if it's the moon orbit, but. I, I would probably say it's just the Earth moving. I don't know if it's the moon orbit. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm new to this stuff. But, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I keep looking at the moon because it's like...
That's crazy, honestly. But yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Papa, peace.